So, out next from Inverkeithi, the glove from above. Supreme Pool Winner Series picked up £51,000 for that, I do believe. A lot of money. The big money is what he picked up. The big money, baby! His name is Liam. The glove from above, Dunstar! Next one out, five times IPA amateur event winner, Tri Nation champion 1997, South African champion 2003. From Savannah's Pool Club in Whitefield, the Pretoria Potters JJ Fox! Winner of multiple major titles in the IPA Tour and International Pool and across the country against JJ Fall from South Africa, but very much Manchester based now. from Liam earlier on in commentary so we're really looking forward to getting out there and a bit of crowd interaction and already seeing that not seen much of the cut break so far tonight Liam's going straight for it not a great start comes up dry to JJ Fall with the first opportunity in this match JJ going after the yellows. Yellow in the middle of the table. Cluster of reds around it. That's going to be his biggest problem ball. Looks like he's going to have to go into it somehow. Difficult to do anything else with it. This is the pot. I think he got the cannon as he wanted, or not far off he wanted. If he catches the black full, then I think he's on the yellow to the right centre. So, even though he missed the pot, he still has quite a bit of control in this frame. Didn't give Liam anything to go up. Liam would be annoyed if he's left in this yellow into the centre pocket. He has. Would not have wanted to leave him that. But he has made the yellow nearest the black tricky. <laughs> Liam 
Oh, JJ Falls attempted to go into the yellow and black and open up that area, but Cannons are red and misses it by a whisker. Has landed on the plant, but he's still got the same problem. Not quite as played, but JJ Fall has given himself an opportunity to win this opening frame. One good pot down the rail. And it goes. in that positional shot on to JJ's final ball. He'll gladly take it and moves himself 1-0 ahead. Good break from JJ Four makes a ball. Decent opportunity on yellows here. That yellow in the middle of this table doesn't go anywhere, but he might be able to plant that yellow onto the other yellow. Just has to be careful where that goes once he plays that plant. And if it goes into the top right now, it makes life so much easier. Well, I think if it did, he'd take it now, so I think the fact he isn't. It looks quite tight from that last camera angle. If he plays the plant into the left centre pocket, he's just got to be careful where the first ball goes. It go, could easily go and sit behind the red and leave him no shot. Yellow was going to an awkward position, so chose to play it with a bit more pace. He's overhit the positional shot. Total snooker himself. Shot from that snooker. Doesn't have to hit a cushion after contact because he was total snookered. And limits Liam Dunster's options once again. He's got the white exactly where he needs to. Looks a good shot at first glance, but no, he has left the open pot. So one good pot from JJ. It's a great pot. And a nudge that helped him as well. Still needs another good pot. A really good three ball finish from JJ Ford to move himself 2 0 in front in this match. And so far, he is doing a great job of keeping Liam Dunster at arm's length. So far, Liam has had a couple of shots, and both of them he's had absolutely nothing to go up but try and find a safety shot. Both times gave JJ a shot, and he made the most of it. Come on, he's looking at the 
much better break from the advance to this time. A good opening pot, so Liam Dunster is up and running in this match. First chance he's had, and he is 2-0 down. The pressure is on him. Red nearest the right-hand side rail looks like it will drop into the centre pocket. Let's see the camera it does. You can play on it into the corner of runs two, and it's not a bad spot for a double. Red next to the blacks, also a stumbling block. So plenty of work left in this finish for Liam Dunstan. Red to the furthest left goes through the gap in the yellows. Would have wanted to be a lot straighter than where he is now. I think he's still on the red to the bottom right as well. And you just see enough of that. Oh, he's made a good pot. I think that nudge has hurt him. Don't think he can see the red next to the black into the centre pocket. And if he can't, then he's got a real problem. I think the way he's lining up the path of the white, I think he maybe can see enough of that red to pull it to the centre pocket. <laughs> just can't get a nudge to go for him. He's just been chasing this finish from three, four balls out. Still just about hanging in with a chance, but it's uh, getting harder. So just accepted he couldn't get a good position on the black and he's going to try and come up with something creative. Perhaps the black off the yellow. Brilliant effort from Liam Dunster, but it stays up. And JJ Full comes to the table with an opportunity to get himself 3 0 in front. If those two yellows on the left hand side are just a straight plant, then he may choose just to play on that rather than try and move it. It's not ideal, but it's uh, an option. JJ's just having a really good look at that plant now. Don't think he's got an angle to go into the yellows from this ball. He could go up the table and look for a safety option. I'm not sure safety options are high on the list of priorities from the players in this event. I can't help but feel this is really important moments in this match. If JJ can complete this finish or just win the frame one way or another. He's going to be a huge favourite in this match, but if he lets Liam back into the frame, he could be letting him back into the match. Brilliant shot from Liam Dunster, gets himself going in this match, still 2-1 behind, but I said a minute ago, you 
that could really be a huge moment in this match. 2-1 two, two, or 3-0 is, is absolutely huge. JJ didn't do a huge amount wrong in that last frame. You know, he got himself a good snooker, but Liam's just come up with a really big shot to win the frame. So he's going to be frustrated even so that he's not 3-0 in front. And the frustration will grow having made a massive break and not uh, landed good on the ball. And he has come up with a great shot into the centre pocket. Even after that brilliant shot from JJ Fall, there's definitely no finish on for him. So choosing to take this bottom left-hand corner pocket and we're going to have a tactical battle on our hands. Running out of time on the shot clock, played it with one second to spare. We are still just in the 30-second element of this match. 30 seconds left of that, in fact, before we go down to the 20-second shot clock. I would have said the previous shot we would want to be reds, reds were in control, but now Liam's got that yellow out. JJ needs to be careful. Definitely an opportunity for Liam to start getting some traction in this frame. He needs to reach a cushion. Just reached. You have to hit a cushion after contact with your object ball, and that looked like dangerously close for Liam, but it did just reach the cushion. He's okay. Sort of good news, bad news for Liam there. I think he's happy to nudge that yellow down the table because he knew he was getting a good white, but he has made a yellow at the bottom of the table more awkward. It may slide past the red to the corner, but that will be a problem for him later on in the frame. frame is reaching a bit of a stalemate with uh, JJ being on reds and having a bit more control than Liam in yellows who's definitely further behind in the frame at this stage but this is the uh, this is the part where the match clock starts to come into play Liam is in a position at 2-1 behind where he can't afford for this frame to go tactical and to be drawn out too long whereas JJ can let this tactical battle last as long as he wants he's 2-1 in front currently 13 minutes left in the match he's in no rush to move it on bit of a loose shot from JJ Fall didn't want to allow Liam to start to turn the tables in that top right hand corner didn't want to give him that option if he got the white to the top rail he wouldn't have had that option Although Liam did leave him a tough shot to the corner and he's taken it on. So maybe JJ Fall has decided now is the time to go for the frame. Yeah. 
two brilliant shots at the start of this visit from JJ. JJ4, he watched that all the way and it looked like he was going to stay up. It, it did drop in. He was on his final red, just needs to hold his position onto the black. He would have loved an, another few inches on that screw back. This is a tough cutback. And he does make that cutback. Ian gave JJ for half a sniff, which he turned into a full opportunity, and he has moved himself 3 1 ahead in this match. But importantly, from his side of the table, the clock is really ticking down. It's very unlikely we're going to get to the, a result in this match. It looks like it will go down to the clock. looking for a replica of his previous break doesn't get it comes up dry and gives JJ fallen good opportunity now 3-1 up 10 minutes left in the match and a great opportunity everything looking like it's in JJ's favor at this stage Just one red that's near a yellow in the bottom area. If there's enough room to get on that to the corner comfortably, then this is a really good opportunity. If not, then he may just look for a nudge. Nice angle on this red to the bottom uh, left. If he needs to develop on the right, he can. both in the same shot and he'll be absolutely thrilled with that nice angle on this to drift up for his last red avoids the middle pocket and he does and simple from here and a reverse dish from JJ Fall thanks to a very nice Developing shot in the middle of the frame, moves himself forward ahead with that reverse dish. And Liam Dunster, the favourite for this tournament, is in big trouble. Eight minutes left on the clock. Needs to win at least three frames to take this to a shootout. Just when everything's going JJ's way, he comes up dry. So Liam Dunster, what have you got? Eight minutes, five seconds on the clock. You need to get a motor on. You have a good opportunity. Really good chance now on yellows. Just over screws it, 
off the red, knew he was going into the red, but if he's not, I think he was playing for the one for the centre pocket, he hasn't come back far enough for the one to the corner. May have to swerve this round. I think that reaction as Liam's walking away from the table tells you that he thinks that may be his last chance in this match. Even if JJ Ford doesn't take out the finish, the clock is still against Liam Dunstan. Cherry, but Liam does manage to cut the gap to 4-2. Under six minutes left in this match now, so he is still really up against it. He is doing all he can at this stage. Dunster needs a very quick break and dish. Well, he's got a ball and he's got a chance. That's a decent split for him. Now, just coming into the final quarter of the match. Five minutes, six seconds left. Liam Dunster needs to win two frames to take this to a shootout. Really a good opportunity for Liam Dunster. That red in the middle of the table just being perhaps a little bit problematic. I don't think it goes to the left centre. Does definitely doesn't go to the right centre. Awkward to get onto it into the corners. Just under hit that positional shot as well. Brilliant shot from Liam Dunster, absolutely brilliant, manages to get himself back into a good position, having left himself slightly low, but it also opens up the bad red in the middle of the table in one foul sweep. So a really good shot and should complete the job now. Black wobbles, but it goes in. So Liam Dunster does complete the breaking dish with a brilliant shot in the middle of the frame to open it up. But there is under three and a half minutes left in this match. And it is JJ's break. Interesting to see how JJ plays this. Well within his rights to take his time on this break, use his full 20 seconds, but he's not, he's going straight after it. 
He's made a ball and that could be that for Liam Dunster. There is two minutes, six seconds left in this match. Liam Dunster, Liam Dunster may well not get back to the table. JJ Ford got a great chance for a finish, but to be honest, he doesn't even need to get that far. He just needs to uh, take his time. Brilliant pop through the gap of the yellows. Didn't look like that was on. Found the path. He's on this one to the bottom left. Right, he's on the red to the top right, but the red doesn't go to the top left, the other red. So he needs to get good cue and to get right across the table. If he's got enough angle on this red, he can do it. Oh, he's played a brilliant shot. JJ Fall, absolutely exceptional shot. To get himself perfect on this last red. Black and a really good finish for JJ Fall to get himself victory in this match with a 5-3 scoreline over Liam Dunster. Had an opportunity to take his time on that finish, chose not to do it, backed himself to make the finish and that he did and he moves on to the quarterfinals and we will hand down to Jade and she will get a few words with him. clock watching so I was getting a bit nervous when uh, he had four minutes left and uh, it was getting to one frame down so uh, if I had a bad break there I think he could have finished for the shootout does the shot clock put you off does it put you under more pressure or are you used to playing in pressures like this it's a different time of pressure because you it's like a rushing pressure to get it done so uh, I've probably taken shots on that I would normally not take on. Yeah. So it's just uh, the way the game goes. Yeah. Uh, I was fortunate in the beginning to uh, get a 2 0 lead yeah. and just build up from there. Yeah. Well, you just said you take, took shots you wouldn't normally take. So, yeah. what's your strategy for the next game? Are you going to say, are you going to play it safe or are you just going to outpart the person again? Uh, I'm going to try not to miss. That's, that's probably the best strategy. Yeah. Well, we will wish you all the best. Good luck and we look forward to seeing you in the next round. Thank you. Look forward to it. Thank you. Wow. Wow. JJ just dusted Dunster. Can we have a little shout out here for the Savannah lot? Unbelievable, unbelievable. I believe the odds on that, he was three to one on, Dust, uh, Dunster was, and JJ was two to one. Hopefully you lot had a load of money on it. It's all gone quiet over there, isn't it? Right? <laughs>